she totally knows people. Hello and welcome to Katie.show. And this is an exciting conversation with David Young. You work for Nintendo North America on the PR side. That's right, that's right. And we are here to show something pretty special today. This is cool. So one of the perks of the job, and I am so through and through, as you know, a Nintendo diehard. I spent my entire holiday, David, playing Mario Odyssey, which I have not beat yet, but I am close. Well, that's a good way to spend your holiday. You know, what I'm celebrating game. the royal wedding, and by royal wedding, I'm hoping for a Bowser and Peach Is that right? You're, you're on Team Bowser? Yes, I am. Hmm. Okay. But uh, that's a side. I'm not going to spoil it. That's no a spoilers. Bar. But what's exciting today, we're in the heart of New York City and we are checking out all things Nintendo Labo. Yes. Which yes. is huge news mm -hmm. because here we have all things Nintendo, which we know is an amazing gaming yeah. experience start to finish. But now Labo, what it does is builds off the Nintendo Switch mm -hmm. yep. and it creates these STEM kits for kids. So it utilizes kind of the analog and the digital worlds yeah, right. to make creations. But I'll let you dive into all things Labo and explain exactly what the heck is Nintendo Labo? Mm -hmm. When does it come out? Yes. What can we be excited to look for? Go for it. Well, Nintendo Labo, as you said, works with the Nintendo Switch. It's cardboard kits that you, that you create different kinds, of, um, different kinds of things to play with the Nintendo Switch. They'll be called Toy-Con. It's a little, a little take off on the Joy-Con controllers, but you can build like RC cars or pianos or you know motorcycles or or um, there's a robot kit. Yes. So there's all these different things that you create and put together yourself, and it's all about making, playing, and discovery, right? It, with Nintendo Labo, really the creation, the building the kits is as much fun as playing them. It's a big part of that is actually constructing and building those kits. Yep. Um, it's coming out on um, April 20th. Uh, there'll be two kits initially launched. Um, there'll be the robot kit, at $79.99, and um, then the the other kit, the um, RC. It? Was it the car? Well, no. The, it's it's a, the the kit that comes with the RC car, the piano. Oh, it's a whole it's, combo. Yeah, it's a combo kit. So, so you got like combo one and combo two. Right, exactly. $69.99. Will you get the Will you get the different toy con, including the RC car? The piano, the motorcycle, and the ah, fishing. That's so, pretty generous. It's, it's so really you don't cool. just get like one activity, you get yeah. like a bunch of activities. That's right. That's but I right. have to say, so obviously being a huge Nintendo fan, when I first saw like the headline news of like cardboard toy con, I was like, huh. But then coming in here and playing, you think cardboard and you're like, well, I don't know, is there yeah. anything less exciting than cardboard? I tell you, I just built my first RC car. So you work off the components yes. of the Switch. Right. And there's something that's awesome. About, Kids nowadays, and I, I like to pride myself as being a proud aunt and doing so much testing, especially in the world of STEM gadgets yeah. and technology and toys, exploded over the last year. But to really know what's working and what kids get excited by, this hits it yeah. spot on. I can tell just from building my first two experiences uh, in the labo that you set up here in New York. But this kind of DIY hands-on creation with mm -hmm. the cardboard. Yeah. And the first one I made was an RC car. The combination of like these analog, creative, and digital worlds, mm -hmm. it, it fuses good and it's, it is fun. It, it is, is cool. Absolutely. And you, it makes sense. Yeah, because you have that analog experience of actually building things and then you kind of combine that with the digital fun of Nintendo Switch. Um, and, and I really love the way that the, the assembly takes place because you have these step by step instructions on the, on the touch screen of the Nintendo Switch. Uh -huh. You can rotate it in a 3D model so you can kind of see it from all different directions. You can zoom in on it. So it's, so it's really an intuitive, fun way to build all these toy con creations. And you can build, like when I was using the car as an example, the RC yeah. car I built, you can build one car or if you have two switches, you could build two cars because you need the joy cons in that particular example. Well, so, what we're doing here is, one. is you, all you need is a second set of joy con to build two cars. Uh, because, understood. Because that's, that's a good point. Yeah. They have a, I have the different, a the neons. Of people, a lot the, of people the red have a blue. second set already, you know, yep. if, they're, if they're playing arms, two players or something, right? So you yes. already have that second set of, jo of a joy con. Good point. So you can take the RC car, you can build two cars, you can play them, you can battle them together, you can go through different obstacle courses. And that's, so that's right out of the box. So why Nintendo go into the STEM direction? Obviously, there's some, there's some obvious answers to this, but I yeah. want to hear your take on it from the Nintendo side. Well, you know, I love, I love our creators because they kind of start out with, a, with the idea of what, what is going to be fun? What's, what's something that, that is a new experience? And uh, they, they came up with this, this great way to combine these cardboard kits with the magic of the Nintendo Switch. The, Joy, the Joy-Con controllers really have a lot of capability that we haven't seen used in, in different games. You know, there's, there's certain games that use the motion controls and, and um, some different things. But this really takes advantage of a lot of the capabilities of those controllers, and it's just a new way, uh, a new way to have fun. So it's it's something something a little different. Yeah. Uh, something that uh, 
you know, is, is designed for, for kids and kids at heart. And uh, we're really excited that the reception we got from it so far. Age range and also we talked about the two ones that are coming out on the 20th yeah. when it's launched mm -hmm. on April. Mm -hmm. uh, how many more kits throughout the year? Well, we don't have anything to announce on that. Okay. You know, we'll, we'll be sharing some more news as we go forward. But there, there, uh, there may be some more stuff to uh, to surprise people. I with. imagine during holiday, that's always like the fun time where the latest and greatest gets released. So. Yeah, but we're we're really excited for uh, for April twentieth when these first two come out and people get their hands on it and what about really age start enjoying it. You know, it's really designed for for school age kids, uh, primarily, but. Just in the announcement and some of the hands-on we've been doing, I've noticed that uh, that it's really for any you know for for kids at heart as well. There's there's adults in there that are just having a blast. So <laughs> myself included, right? Exactly. <laughs> so so really the school age I think is the bullseye of the target, but uh, really anybody can have fun. The one I'm most uh, excited for is there's a number of different things that you we've referenced in chatting in the last few minutes that you can build. Uh, the fishing pole yes, yes. and the RC car, which mm -hmm. I keep talking about. And also, but the one I'm most excited for is the piano. Yeah. Because we, you just said, you know, adults are excited for this too. I have a whole Super Mario compendium of Koji Kondo songs that I play on my piano. Oh, really? But now to make the mini piano yeah. version and did it, did it, did it, like how fun is it to bring this to life with that, again, digital analog experience? Yeah. And, and, and we'll, we'll, we'll show you, we'll kind of open it up and show you, the, the in, you know, how it works. But it's, it's really amazing. The piano uses the IR camera and, and reflective tape. So, so when you press a key, it reflects um, off, the, off the key in the background and then it you know, will produce a corresponding tone. And something but, like that would take about, what, an hour to make? Uh, the, pian the piano's got a lot of steps to it, probably, a, probably an hour, two hours maybe, to put together the piano. It's still not depending, bad. Depending on the, you know, if you're really good at folding cardboard, you can be a little quicker. For <laughs> me, for me well, I, I take my time. It takes me a while. That's smart, though, because parents just perked up. They're like, you're getting an hour, two hours, extra spare time? Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. yeah. And the great thing about it is that the way that the directions are set up, I mean, you can turn it off and set it aside any time. Say you have 45 minutes, you built part of it, you want to set it aside for the next day, it's really easy to do, to pick up and, and start right where you left off. Very cool. Yeah. It's, it, it was fun this year. You know, obviously after Switch launch, you're like, oh, what's next? You're always asking what's next. Yeah. And you guys are probably like, dude, we just spent so much time making <laughs> the know. Switch. Like, chill out, what's yeah. next? But here we are. I mean, this week alone, and I, I know you probably can't speak to it, but the creation of a Super Mario movie, which Shigeru Miyamoto know, is behind. Right, right. P.S. One of my Exciting. favorite interviews of all time, if you look back in the podcast, was with Shigeru. What is, he, is he the greatest? We're oh. gonna, we're gonna, I have to get two yeah, sentences aside, in because... But he's, he's so fantastic. Well, you meet people in life, and, and it's such a cool part of the job when you have opportunities of this nature, and you're such a Nintendo fan at heart. Yeah. To meet him grew my love for the brand even more. Yeah. And you, you hope for that experience. Like, to, to a cool dude behind the scenes, like, on and offline. Like, I, what a pleasure. So to see who's behind this put new Super Mario movie, we will, I'm sure, hear a lot more coming up. I know you probably can't speak to it. But uh, that and also even the Mario Kart coming to smartphone yeah. 2019, which was a huge move. Uh, it's exciting stuff that you continue to just foster new ideas and, and continue to bring stuff out that who knew? I know there's so much excitement going on here. We're, we're, we're really pleased on, you know, all the new things we've announced. And like I say, Mr. Miyamoto, he's, he inspires me. I mean, he's, he's just a genius, but he's, he's still got that childlike Kid. wonder, right? Mr. Miyamoto Fantastic. is, is Love him. he's awesome. He's awesome. You're awesome, David. Oh, thanks. Thank you so much for the chat. Yeah. Uh, anything else that we missed in terms of the world of Nintendo Labo that people should know about? We hit a lot. Well, you know, um, we love sharing information and showing videos, but I really encourage everybody to get their hands on it. You can't really understand Agreed. the magic of Nintendo Labo until you, until you break it out and start folding cardboard and really, really start building things. So, so that's the best way to have the experience. So I really encourage everybody to try it out. And you can probably expect, stay tuned, because on my TV side, I'm sure I'll be chatting a lot about Labo on the airwaves. So, David, thank you so much, and stay tuned. There's more secrets to, to show you in here, too. Oh, there's more. <laughs> I'm going to go <laughs> take that up on that. Bye. She totally knows people.